that performance come in in terms of playing to the identity that you want this team to and, and doing the things that you want to do consistently to have success? No, I, I think it was just a solid win. I mean, um, you know, we were a little rusty early, but I think we settled in. I thought the penalty kill was great tonight. I mean, they had their chances, but um, I thought the penalty kill held it together. And I thought, you know, pretty like all four lines contributed tonight in the 60. But I thought it was a, like a good team effort. What have you noticed in Brock's game from you know the time you had with him last year to this year in terms of what he's doing to allow him to score so regularly as he has? Well, I think he, you know, he's just a smart guy. He knows the spots to go at, um, and he's sharpened up in his defensive game. You know, he still he knows there's he still wants to get better at his defensive game, but it's you know it's night and day from last year. And uh, his, his positional hockey, you know, he's a smart kid. What did you see from your team in the second? Uh, it seemed like that was your strongest 20 minutes and, and probably a, a good bounce back, especially in terms of what you generated from, from the first. Yeah, I, I, the first one, I, like I thought, we couldn't handle the puck. Like we were just a little rusty. Like the pucks were bouncing off our sticks. I, I didn't think we were sharp. Um, but then we just started to settle in. There was a lot of energy in the second. And, um, you know, that's, that, that was a big, you know, that was a big key for me is just seeing how we responded after the first. Um, and then, you know, I mean, obviously Kucherov's a hell of a player. He makes some hell of plays out there. And I thought we adjusted better the second and third with him on the ice. I thought early on we were, we were getting two guys were going to him and he would find those slip plays. And I thought we adjusted that better as the game went on. They have six minutes, uh, shorthanded, zero goals, uh, eight shot attempts, five shots. Yeah. Um, and it seemed like struggled to get the blue, gain the blue uh, against your PK. Uh, where was your club especially sharp tonight, and how big a part of it was Neil Zaman, given how heavily he was deployed four on five? Yeah, I, I, I thought I thought Yozi and uh, well, the last couple of days he, he said I thought he did a nice job of sending video to the players on the, even on the off days. I think that was good. Um, you know, obviously we're giving more ice time to some other guys. Uh, you know, Teddy and Oms obviously leading us, and I think Dakota. Um, but I thought our game plan, I mean, what are they, 30% power play? I mean, that's a hell of a power play. And I thought we protected the middle pretty well. I mean, they got a couple of good looks, and Demer was, you know, obviously there for us. But um, this this is a game when you when you penalty kill against a, a, a power play like that, it boosts, it should give us confidence. We should have a little bit of, you know, energy now with this penalty kill. Hopefully we can get a little bit of a run, you know, um, in the you know, next four or five games where, the PK can be counted on. I think that's what we're looking for, like a, a good run of, our, of good PK right now, looking for a good run. Rick, because Mako has a sequence where he scores on the one timer yeah. and then later he hustles back and strips Stamkos from a chance in the slot. What did you make of this game tonight? He's had some energy tonight. You know, he's been shooting, actually, uh, Gonch is here, then uh, he's been spending time with Gonch shooting a lot of pucks. He shot a lot of pucks the last three days and, you know, there's no sense to him shooting that puck, he scores. You know, uh, we're, we're getting him to shoot the puck more, uh, hopefully, you know, in practice. Now we have to translate in the game. But I just thought he had more energy tonight. You know, it's a, it's a good little building block for him. Sometimes it's the little things. Uh, we talked a lot about Juleson, Juleson recently. Yeah. Tonight, quick up pass to Di Giuseppe, gets a shot off the rush, and then he draws a penalty going hard behind his own net to trigger the transition. What about his game? Yeah, if you, you could ask Footy or uh, the Gonch, um, he's probably been the last eight, nine games, one of our, you know, like, I would say surprises, but I think he's taken his game for what he is to a different level. Like, he's really, um, he's been great on the penalty kill. Uh, his decision making has been night and day than he was at the beginning of the year, making that, like, that quick up, you know. Um, thinks his breakouts are better. I, just his overall, and he, and he uh, like Footy was just talking about how he thought he played well tonight in the, in the coach's room. And he said he listens. You know, he he he's a he's a he's a sponge, and I, he really listens to the coaches. So, you know, good for him. Uh, Rick, we've heard you talk about playing predictable hockey, and I think a lot of us, when you said that, were thinking, how is Niels Huglander going to be predictable? But it seems like he's the first guy in on the forecheck every time. Yeah. What is it about his game that you found to be able to fit into being predictable and how he's working with that line? Yeah, he's obviously is on the forecheck. His speed through the neutral zone, um, you know, that hit on Kutrop, that was a pretty good hit. Um, he's a little bull. You know, saying that, we got to work on his defensive game. I thought, you know, he was a little out of whack a couple times, but you know, I wanted to stick with him. You know, usually sometimes, you know, you, you know, I could have pulled him off there because 
they were, you know, there's a couple times that, you know, he was directly involved in the, in the, in the mishap, but I thought by sticking with him, I thought he had a good third period, you know. Um, so hopefully he can build on the fact that, okay, made a, you, know, I, you know, I think there's about three or four giveaways he had. If he can just get that part of his game, um, and he's and, and he's working his ass off. To, you know, I, I give him a lot of credit. You know, it's it's a it's a new it's a new it's a new journey for him to play that kind of style where he, we have to depend him on the defensively, and he's uh, he's trying to work on it. Um, you guys have won every game that you've taken a lead into the third period this season. Is that part of you guys' identity of just how you come out in third periods this year? Yeah, and I think it's just uh, they, they believe in the structure, you know, and they, they believe that we do the right things. Obviously, we get good goaltending mostly every night. That helps. But I think, um, you know, the shift lengths, uh, to me, um, are good again, like the 35, 40 seconds. Uh, very rarely, uh, for me, the last three, four games, we were extended where a guy would go for, you know, I'm going to try one, you know, I'll take another shot at down offensively. The, for the most part, I think our shift lengths have been really good, or and, and the guys are buying into that. And that's helped us in the third period. I know it has. Rick, it's a, a dynamic game, obviously, but yeah. Brock's one-timer goal almost looked like a set play. When Quinn dips in yeah. behind the net, I, do you just feel like good things are going to happen? Like It looked like Tampa, you know, <laughs> every guy on the ice, obviously, is drawn to Quinn in that situation, and it opens up ice for Brock. Yeah, correct me wrong. It was a koozie who went to the net. Uh, yeah, uh, there was a koozie. Um, that draws about two guys, and obviously that's a high, the high, that's a, you know, it is a set play. Um, you get that high forward in that in that high place, and obviously, I mean, that was a hell of a shot. If you, you know, I saw the video of it, it just kind of C and I, it just, you know, it went through a couple of guys that were trying to block the shot, but yeah, when Quinn gets that puck, uh, down by the hash marks with speed, usually something good happens. You talked about penalty killing a little bit earlier. Uh, Got to ask you another night, another too many men. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, but uh, we we addressed it, and uh, I think Brock. You know, what, Brock, you know, Brock. It was I think it was Brock's fault. He took, came to the bench. He took ownership. It's his fault. I, the guys are, you know, obviously. They, t- it's it's a high alert right now. I mean that's way too many. Um, usually you have five for the year. I think we have we have our quota. We're done. I hopefully for the year because it's you know it can it can cost you games and we got to be careful. Fine jar, fine jar. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Somebody's gonna be well. Who, who, who gets the money? The coaches? No, no, because I, I'm the guy who gets. Bo- it's not my, it's not me. It's I. It's my fault, right? At the end of the day. But no, it's it's. We got we got to do something. I know that. Maybe this finds. Yeah. I was curious about the uh, the the rest strategy. Now that you've been home for a while, taking it a little bit a uh, yeah. little bit easier than usual. Do you think that that helped in the last forty minutes today, just in terms of sort of getting the legs a little looser? I know it did. I, I thought early. I don't know early on because we were a little rusty. With, like it's, I thought some guys were fighting with the puck, but. Um, I think in the long run, and I, I think I told you guys, win or loss, uh, if we lost, I didn't care. To me, this was the right thing to do, and I thought there was energy today. Um, and um, even like after the game, I could tell guys were, they weren't spent, you know, so those 48 hours really helps. Hopefully it helps us for these next four games on the road, uh, or actually one more game before we hit the road. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of games, a lot of mileage on the plane, not much time, so I think the rest, the is going to help us in the, you know, for sure. It's going to help us. So there were some big hits from uh, Cole and Zadorov in the third period. Yeah. Jules was credited with four hits. Uh, you know, how important is that to have some some big guys in the back end throwing their weight around? Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, we listen. I I love big hits, but I'll just take anybody just getting in front of people like Chip. We that's one of our staples is Chip in the body. Um, but you know, when you, you get some of those big hits, I mean. Make the other teams luck. I mean, it's no no different. You know, you're, you know, uh, they, it hurts. And um, you know, Kohler's good at it. Big Z now. I mean, he laid it, Hoggy on Kucherov. That was a big hit too. So, yeah, it's something that uh, it's nice to see. You know, you don't want to run around though, and you know, uh, and look for big hits. But when they're there, you got to take them.